And this is Lou with part two of Confusions, Game Design is Not Mind Control. This is kind of the other side of the argument. It's about people who want to make experiences, usually with single player games. The designer is not necessarily controlling a player's mind, but certainly influencing the player's feelings and perceptions. It can be more like a novel where the author clearly controls all that happens, or a movie where the director controls all that happens. However, once you get two independent players in the same game, then mind control doesn't make much sense for the designer. And I say independent players because if you have two or more players who are in a co-op playing against programmed instruction, then you're back to essentially a single player experience. Traditional story forms are linear and passive, whether it's plays or novels or movies or something else. As a result, stories work better in games that are actually puzzles, because in puzzles there's an always correct solution, a route or a line to follow to achieve the end. And so the player is more or less forced to follow along the story and is controlled by the person who makes the puzzle. This doesn't have the same effect in games that provide lots of choices and alternative ways to succeed. So in the end you might ask yourself, and I have a separate video that discusses this, are you a game designer or are you a storyteller, a fiction writer? For many people they're opposites. Though some game designers are frustrated storytellers, and those are often the people who want to create experiences. Another idea that's quite prevalent in game design is that you start to design a game by thinking of a feeling that you want to engender in the player. And again, this tends to be single player rather than multiple players, but not always. And once again, the implication here is the designer wants to control the player more or less. I'm kind of the opposite. I'm of the what happens next school. I set up a situation and let the players make of it what they will. And notice that's players plural. The single player people start out at the A in MDA. MDA is Mechanics, Dynamics, Aesthetics. Aesthetics is the feelings you want to engender in the player. Other designers are more interested in the interplay of the mechanics and the players, the dynamics. Because a lot of players, especially serious game players, want to feel in control. They want to feel that they succeed in a game because of their own merits. They do not like obvious manipulation. On the other hand, there are lots of game players who like stories and are happy to follow the story, or what I call, be led around by the nose. Clearly, I don't like that kind of game. If I want to be led around by the nose, I'll use a medium that is designed that way, such as novels or movies. So some game players want to make things happen themselves, and some are happy to have things happen to them. If your target market is people who want to be in a story but not really affect the story, then you're closer to mind control. Now, I've been talking about game design. For a moment, consider playing within the game. If you're playing a game with several players on different sides, then negotiation is very likely to be a part of the game, talking with the other players. And this does have an element of mind control. You're trying to convince the players to do whatever it is you intend them to do. Now, you rarely try to convince the player to do exactly what's best for you, because that's harder to do. But if you can convince several players to do what you intend them to do, the result will be good for you, even if you've not convinced any one of them to do what's best for you. So within a game, while it's not exactly mind control, that's what you would ideally achieve. But that's not true for the game designer. So, a summary. 
I like to think of game design as providing opportunities for players to enjoy and express themselves, not as opportunities to control players. But I am not a fiction writer. Those who are fiction writers probably prefer a strict control, and that's easier to arrange as in many puzzles in single player video games or any kind of single player game or co-op game with programmed instruction is a form of a puzzle. The more your game is like a novel or a movie, the more you're likely to want to mind control the players.